Hey, hello and welcome back again. Today we're going to have another class of art from home. All right, are you ready? Yes? Good. Before that, I'm going to say something in Spanish. All right? Por ahora, español. Solo por ahora, por el momento. Algo súper importante. Yo sé que están felices haciendo sus trabajos. Me encanta cuando los hacen. Me encanta que me los envíen y así puedo verlos y ponerlo dentro de los videos. Pero hay algo muy importante que siempre hay que hacer y eso es seguir las instrucciones. Si vamos a hacer un trabajo en el que se usan dos clases, el trabajo debe realizarse en esas dos clases. Porque siempre en todas las clases hay algo nuevo que aprender y eso es lo más importante. Así que desde ahora en adelante, si el trabajo son dos, tres, cuatro clases, ese es el tiempo que vamos a usar paso a paso. Perfecto, sigan las instrucciones. Recuerden que si no tienen los materiales o si no les alcanzó, siempre pueden cambiarlos. Pero primero vayan paso a paso viendo las clases. ¿Ok? Good. ¿Es it clear? Yes or no? Clear? Yes. Good. So now that everything is ready, let's start with the class. Yo, yay, yay! Hey, can you tell why I'm wearing this? Because I want to show you what I did, and we need to know what you did as well. So first, when I started building the boat, it was like this. Very simple. I mean, we needed these things first, and then it turned into this. And then, this. And then, this. And after that, this. And after all those steps, I used my imagination and I decided to create this. You ready? Look, this is the boat I built. It's called Covidonga, you know? Covidonga, Covidonga. So, it's good. I used leaves, you know? The leaves from the from the trees you know and I built this with a ladder this one I made created a um, Chilean flag of course and this is it this is the final result I am not sure Covidonga the 19th so I'm not sure if it floats I am not sure Am I going to try to do it? Yes. When it rains, I will put it there to see if it works. Now, it is not perfect, but look at it. It's a good creation, isn't it? So, remember, this is going to be evaluated, all right? So, I'm going to give you a link where you need to upload the photos of your boat, okay? It doesn't have to be the same. This is huge, all right? It's huge. It doesn't have to be like that. I just used my imagination and I created it. Now, it's time to see more of the pieces of art that you have created, all right? So I don't have too many now, but I will show you anyways, all right? Let's do this. That was good. I really like um, the pieces of art that you have created. I love them. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing all this. Now, I will be here. All right? And this? Not anymore. Good. Much better. All right. So let's start with today's class. And let's do it good. Today, we're going to start with something called pointillism. All right? This is good. I really like it. So I will be here. Good. Let's see. Let me show you some pictures. We have this Eiffel Tower. We have that one. This one is a nice fish. 
Look at that one. It's a wolf. And this one, flowers. And they all have something in common. Little, little, little points. That's what is called pointillism. So, what is it? Pointillism it is a technique of painting in which small distinct dots of color are applied in patterns to form an image. So little dots to create an image. And let's see who, who created this. The fathers of pointillism. Georges Seurat and Paul Signac developed the technique in 1886, branching from Impressionism. So it's a branch of the Impressionism. The term pointillism was coined by art, art critics in the late 1880s to ridicule the works of these artists, but is now used without its early mocking connotation. So, in the beginning, people laughed because of these pieces of art. Why? Well, that was at the beginning of the times, in, when, when first started. But after that, as it says there, is now used without its earlier mocking connotation. So people don't laugh anymore. Now they are amazing. Personally, I love them. So, Georges Sirot and Paul Sinek. Let's see. This one is Sirot and that one is Sinek. Now, as always, I'm going to show you some pictures of pieces of art of what they have created, right? Here we have Le Cahoot or Chahoot, I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's an oil on canvas and it's at the Kroller Mullen Museum. Look at it. It's good. And you know what I like? That it's all made of little dots, but you can't really tell. So it's amazing. Let's see another one. This one is called A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La La Grande Jatte, I guess so. Um, it's an oil on canvas as well, and it's in the Art Institute of Chicago. Good, right? Let's see Paul's now. This is a portrait of Felix Fenon, French. Um, in, I think all of them are oil on canvas, most of them. It's in the Museum of Modern, Modern Art in New York. I really like this one. I like the colors, the, the moves everywhere, it's really good. And we have this one, the Port of St. Tropez, 1901, oil on canvas as well. It's on the National Museum of Western Art in Tokyo. So I think, I think this type of art, it's amazing. I, I really like it, as I said. Now, you know I love this part. Art made by kids about pointillism but they created it. People like you, kids like you, all right? So are you ready? Because I am. Let's see. The first one is this. Do you remember the nice Eiffel Tower at the beginning? Look, it's the same, but a kid made it. And I think it's still being amazing. I really like it, I really like it. Look at this one. See? It's like he looked outside and saw a house, a tree, and the sun. That's it. Beautiful. All dots. And the last one is this one. Look. What are these called? I can't remember the name of this animal, but it's really good. Really, really good. And I think I've got one more. Yes, this one. Look at it. It's a ladybug. Easy. Just tiny little dots everywhere and you can create something amazing. Actually, you can create anything you want with little dots. Now, what to do? Well, this piece of art is going to take two classes. Why? Okay, so remember what I told you in Spanish. Two classes, all right? Two. Why? We're not going to create any normal piece of pointillism. No, 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 no. I love when you use your imagination and all that and create something new, right? But we have to follow instructions. And this time I will tell you what to do. But first, I'm going to tell you a story. You ready? Good. This story is about me. You know this? 
Australia the country. I lived in Australia for two years, all right? And I found out some amazing things. This pictures around here, they are all mine. Do you know this fox? I took this picture in one of my trips. It's my favorite picture in the world. Not maybe not in the world, but it's it's one of my favorites of all times. This one, look, is a mantis, a religious one. I grabbed it and I saved it. Uh, that's me with a snake. That's me uh, playing with some kangaroos or wallabies. I can't remember what they were. This one up here is myself with a wombat, like an animal, fat one. And that that one over there is me with a koala. Now, question. What do they all have in common? All these pictures have something in common. What is it? Can you guess? Yes, I heard that. One of you said animals. Well, this one is an in insect, but it's an animal as well. It's in the animal kingdom. So, animals. They are all animals. All these pictures have an animal. So, why? Because of this. We are going to create something like this. This, for you, this is Australian um, art. This was made by Aboriginal people. So look at them. If you see, they all have little dots. Maybe they didn't know it was pointillism. And they created all of this. And what do they all have in common? animals <clears throat> so the idea is that we're going to create something like this using these techniques all right but we're going to create our own piece so what to do first create your own template and then second paint it using it using the proper technique now the first class this one we are going to create the template. I did mine. Do you remember I told you my favorite picture? The one with the fox? So this is what I did. Look, I tried to do something very similar to the fox in the nature and then I added some things at the back, on the bottom, around the fox. So the idea is that you think of an animal or maybe look at a photo and if you think that you like it and you can create something like the Aboriginal people from Australia, it's time to do it. But this class, just this. And then next class, I will tell you what colors to use or uh, the, the type of um, paint we're going to use, all right? So, this class, just the template, and next class, we will paint together, all right? So that's it. I hope you had enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see what you're going to create this time. All right, I am Mr. Chester, and this is art. Bye.